Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, we successfully update our uh, edit profile page. Here we successfully design that page and also we successfully get which user is logging that user value data um, name and then the email address and the username is visible, right? Great. So now friend, in this video I want to do when you select any images, that image will be loaded in here. Okay, if you want to do this work, you can do it by with using the jQuery. So I simply go to that Google. Okay, so I simply go to that Google. And now if you go to that, uh, I will first of all here, which will be needed the jQuery. So I make it as jQuery. Okay, so that is a jQuery CD and I, I need. So that is if you go to the W3 into this W3, simply open it. So now from to the W3, I want to do a load on the CDN link. You can see there is a jQuery CDN link. I simply copy it. And now in our particular admin profile edit page here, first of all, I want to do how to load it. Okay, I simply load it. Make that sure you load it. Now I want to do that is actually our profile and that is our images right so into the profile image here that is our input field right into this input field that is one of the id as a default id here i want to do i want to declare on the new id okay i declare on the new id and i just name it as the image okay so from here we'll upload that image and i want to visible it in particular that area so that is our another image and in this image area i want to, to put one of the another id and i just name that id as a show image okay i name it as a show image great that means from our image id here i will upload some of the images and that image will be displayed in our id another one as a show image great so now we have to create some of the script better after this i want to do and load on the script so that will be a script okay so i simply loaded that script and that is very much basic some of the javascript i want to use so if you want to start it with the javascript like first of all here that will be on the document so i simply loaded the document so that will be the document okay so that is a document and document will be as a ready so that is already one of the method ready method here area and we want to do load that function so that will be as a function okay i simply call that one of the function great so into this function area here first of all i want to do and to get from where exactly you get um, upload the data i have already put one of the id right i have already put one of the id uh, if you go i have already put that id as image so from here i will upload this data so that will be with the single code that will our id name as an image so into this id name when you upload any data then that will be changed right so that will be the change one of the method so that will c h a n g e change so that is a change method and here i want to do and to load another function and now into the function area i want to pass as a on the event okay i simply pass on that event and now i want to do i want to load it whether i take on the variable as a var and then reader a okay, var reader and then that will be new i want to load on the object as a file reader okay file reader and into this file reader area here then we have to unload it so that will be the reader okay, reader and with this reader i want to do and to load our onload method there is a onload okay that is a onload and then here i want to load that our function so that is our function and into this function area i have already loaded that event so this event i will simply pass it in here now our where exactly that will be loaded i have already put another id as a show image i simply copy it so then that will be here okay i want to simply take that dollar sign and our id name that if you want to display that id then that will be the hash and then the show image and our attribute which which one so here also we have to add that our attribute attribute will be uh, that is one of the image src right that is the image and that is our src that is our src attribute i want to do and to load it so then that will be the src attribute and then here i pass that our event event if you want to access that result so then that will be the target the target and the result so then that will be the targeted result which is totally fine and now i want to do to display it okay so here if you display then there will be the reader the reader so there is a reader and with this reader then add also another function as a read as data url okay so that is a read data url here i want to do and to pass that our event so that is event target event targeted file 
okay event targeted files and i want to get that our first index data that means that will be the zero index data that is javascript if you know it with the javascript i hope you already know it rather than it's totally fine simply copy that code then that will be executed okay so now let's check this out it's perfectly working or not i want to done to click the save all and also make that sure you load that jquery rather than that will be not work okay so now let's check this out click the save all and to go there mm, like here i refresh it okay refresh it now choose some of the image like i choose this one mm, it's not working maybe they have some of the issues in here document okay document mm, the ready function this file reader on load function right on load function show image attribute you can see attribute is spelling is mistake that will be the attribute a double t r and src e targeted result then the reader and then add read as default reader and the read as data url e targeted i have already passed that files and then and that is the hot zero index data visible now let's check this out maybe that is actually the issue attribute now click the save all now i want to refresh it again and i'll choose another image i choose this one mm, you can see it's now successfully updated so that is actually the simple mistake as the attribute make that sure that will be the attribute so now if you choose another image like i choose this one mm, that is display perfectly and also if you choose this one that is display perfectly great so friend i didn't create any uh, table right so right now we don't need this i didn't create any field for our profile images in our user table so better in our next video i will create one of the another table for the images okay from here i want to do and to upload some of the images how can I upload it step by step everything will be very much clear to you so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video